Hello everyone, I'm Sam from KPR Studio. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make 3D text in Photoshop. You will learn the basics of Photoshop's 3D features. Let's begin by opening the photo. Go to File, Open, navigate to the image folder, select the image and click Open. I don't need this surfboard image because I want the image only focus on the 3D text that I will add later on. So, to remove an object from a photo, simply make a selection over the object. Here I use the polygon lasso tool, but you may also use any other selection tool. And go to select, modify, expand, and expand by around 25 to 30 pixels. Click OK. Then go to edit, fill, at the dialog box, click the contents drop down, select content aware and click OK. Now the surfboard has gone. Next, add text onto the image, press Ctrl D to remove the selection, activate the text tool. In this demonstration, I use the American Captain phone and write something over the image. Adjust the text size accordingly as you want. Then press Ctrl A, activate the move tool, and add the options bar. Click the align horizontal center to move the text to the middle. Press Ctrl D to remove the selection. Then press the down or up arrow button to adjust the text position vertically. What we'll do now is converting this text layer into a 3D layer. So go to 3D. Select new 3D extrusion from selected layer. Now we are working on the 3D workspace. The first thing we need to do in this 3D workspace is to match the perspective of the 3D extrusion to the skin area of this photo. When we are looking for the perspective point on such skin area, just find it in the horizon line where does the sea meets the sky. So the perspective will be somewhere around here in the middle. You don't need to be perfect, just imagine which point is the most making sense. Now make sure the move tool is still active so that you can see the grid of the 3D text. What we're gonna do for the grid is to match it with the converging line of the image so the horizon line will meet this line. To do so, drag this icon until the line meets the horizon. You might also want to play with the middle or right icon to edit the 3D view for the text as you want. After making some movements with these 3D move tools, and you don't know where you end up, for example, you want the 3D text to look exactly sitting on the ground, click this coordinate icon, and at the tab that opens, click the move to ground button. If you want to look the real preview without this grid, simply click the marquee tool. The next step is adjusting the light direction accordingly, so that the shadow position will be opposite to the direction of the light. To do so, Select the infinite light on the 3D panel. Activate the move tool so that you can work on the light direction controller. The idea is simple, just think where the light source comes from and drag this controller until the infinite light point meets somewhere around the light source. At the properties tab, you have to select a color that makes the 3D text exposure matches the photo exposure. And you can uncheck the shadow check mark if you don't want your 3D text to have a shadow. Or if you want, drag the slider leftward or rightward to adjust the shadow softness accordingly. If the light in your image is so bright, drag this slider to the left side so that the shadow will look rough. Or if it is cloudy, like this photo, drag this slider rightward so that the shadow will look fake. Now let's jump our work to the 3D text. Click the 3D text on the 3D panel. You can choose any shape preset if you want. But if you want to get back to the previous shape, click Reset Reformation. In this demonstration, I choose Bevel with Contour. Then, you might also want to widen or narrow the extrusion by dragging the slider. Choose any color you want for the text. Or if you want a custom texture for the 3D text surface, select 3D front inflation material. At the properties panel, click the folder icon next to the diffuse color picker. Select load texture. 
select any text or image file from your computer and click open. Then, you might also want to play with these sliders to adjust the look for the texture. So do with the 3D text font bevel and 3D text extrusion, you can also apply any custom texture image for them. Because I don't want the 3D material surface to look too shiny with too light reflection, so I need to increase the roughness by dragging the slider rightward. Now I'm happy with the 3D surface, it's time to go with the environment. Select the environment on the 3D panel, you can adjust the light color by selecting any color from this color picker. Or if you want the 3D text to reflect something on its surface, you can add the reflection image by clicking this folder icon, select replace texture, and pick any image from your computer. Activate the move tool to drag the round control to get a reflection view as you want. Once you finish adjusting everything for your 3D text, Click this render icon so that Photoshop will apply and generate a real preview based on the adjustment you've made for the 3D text. But if you have figured out how the outcome will look like and you still want to edit it, press the escape key on your keyboard to stop the rendering. It seems that my 3D material is rough. It doesn't make sense if my 3D text reflects something. So I don't need that. To remove the reflection, Click this icon and select Remove Texture. Now click the render icon again, and wait for the render process to finish. The rendering takes some time depends on your computer performance. Once the rendering process is finished, now let's back to the Essentials workspace. Here I need to add some adjustment layers such as levels, click this icon, select levels, and adjust the sliders to get a view you want. Add a vibrance adjustment, brightness and contrast, and hue saturation as well if you need to. Okay guys, that's all for this tutorial. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, if you do, click the like button, don't forget to subscribe for more future uploads, and as always, thanks for watching this video, and see you guys later.